Dad, I've got classmates using AutoCAD in our design course. Isn't that kind of outdated? Not even close, Steve. AutoCAD is still an industry standard for 2D drafting and detailed layout design. While 3D tools like SolidWorks model components, AutoCAD excels at schematics, blueprints, and plan views with sub-millimeter precision. So it's not a modeling tool, it's more like technical drawing software? Exactly. It's a vector-based CAD platform. That means everything you draw, lines, polylines, arcs, is defined by precise coordinate geometry, not pixels. That lets you scale infinitely with no distortion and maintain dimensional integrity. So when I draw a circle, it's defined by an equation, not a bunch of dots? Right. Objects are stored parametrically, and those geometries are structured using layers, blocks, XREFS, and dimension styles, essential for managing large, complex engineering drawings. But what about automation? I heard people script stuff in AutoCAD. That's where it gets powerful. AutoCAD supports AutoLisp, Visual Basic for Applications, VBA, and even Python, via external APIs. Engineers automate things like batch drawing generation, custom dimensioning, or layout templating. Does it support 3D at all? It does, but it's limited. You can create solid models and use Boolean operations, but for parametric 3D, SolidWorks or Fusion 360 is better. AutoCAD shines when you need 2D precision, like circuit diagrams, HVAC layouts, or architectural plans. What formats does it use? Primarily DWG and DXF. DWG is the native binary format, while DXF is text-based and useful for transferring data to CNC or laser cutting software. So even with 3D everywhere, AutoCAD holds its ground? Absolutely. It's lean, scriptable, and universal. Every engineer should know how to read and draft in AutoCAD. It's still the backbone of a ton of workflows.